Waldo Cabrera. It doesn't matter if you have a newborn or kids that like to roam free. Join me on a trip from shore to shore on My Long Island Family. My Long Island Family is brought to you in part by the Allied Foundation, a not-for-profit organization. For more information, visit alliedfoundation.org. At Sachem High School East, Suffolk County's At Face Value Smoking Education Program is letting teens take a look at their future selves. All the students basically have heard all their life of what tobacco does to the inside of them. So this is hitting their vanity and showing what happens to the outside of them. A handful of students participated in the demonstration. Their photos were manipulated by software developed for the FBI that helps find children years after they've been reported missing. It simulates how an individual ages over time. But our legislators saw it as a demonstration to show what tobacco could do to people's faces. In addition, the program takes into consideration excessive exposure to the sun and a gain in body mass. We've been very lucky over the years to be working with the Suffolk County Health Department and their educators there. Um, they come in and we use them, any tool in the toolbox to try and help kids be healthier, not smoke, um, avoid sun tanning, eat healthier, do things that are going to make their lives the quality and quantity better, we're all for it. Men and women age at different rates and so do different ethnicities. So of the five that I have, African American, Asian American, Caucasian, Latino, Hispanic, and South Asian. The computer digitizes a 3D face based on the photograph and for the final touch, corresponding key points on the face must be matched. These are auto-detected points that have to match up with your face. And I think that looks good. And then the matching comes. The left is going to age, but it's going to age without any behaviors. The right, however, will age as a smoker. Choose which side would you rather be? Would you like a picture? Student after student was surprised to see the dramatic physical effects of smoking. <laughs> Do you want a picture? This is so embarrassing. I was shocked. It was all, so all the embarrassing. And the, and the gray it hair, was deplorable. Man. <laughs> Although it affects your insides, it affects your outsides too, and it's just, mm, it's not so pretty. <laughs> Besides all the wrinkles, all the discoloration of my skin was all, it was, it was all, uh, besides wrinkles, it was like leathery and just the discoloration, it was crazy. All the spots on your yeah. face. And I already showed my mom said, yeah, and I she goes, what is that? I don't know if that's going on social media. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't yeah. expecting that. That was really bad. Yeah, I had a lot of wrinkles. I looked a lot better not smoking and not with like, yeah, a BMI of 37. Overall, these educational efforts are paying off. The CDC reports that teen smoking has dropped to 13%. That's good progress, but Mrs. Broderick's goal is to get that number down to zero. Any tool that we can use to try and convince them to, to not smoke, um, we'll use. The final tools in her bag of tricks we're stirring straws. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna kinda imitate emphysema or COPD, one of the chronic obstructive pulmonary disorders. You have to inhale and exhale through the straw only. If you cannot do it, stop. If you get dizzy, stop. Keith, how did you feel? I'm a little dizzy. Anybody feel a little claustrophobic? Yeah. Like you really, yeah, really yeah, wanted to breathe and you couldn't? Please understand that somebody with COPD or somebody with emphysema is gonna be doing this every day. We don't want you to have any of these problems in the future. You have the opportunity to make changes or make good decisions. For schools, offering this program is an easy decision. It's free. No cost to us. It's wonderful. We set up a schedule every year. Um, yeah, I recommend this to anybody. The kids enjoy it. It's, it's something good. It's something that they can see. It's concrete. And today's lesson hit the kids over the head like a ton of concrete bricks. I'm not trying to look like that when I'm like <laughs> a little man. Don't, don't smoke. smoke. Don't eat a lot of fast food.